we laughed about this one, and you said that, yes, alpaca is alive and well, especially in the People's Republic of Cambridge. Oh, my goodness. Um, so this fellow writes in and says, my girlfriend hates how I dress, but it's winter and I love my old alpaca alpaca sweaters, scarves, and hats. And then he says, they're warm, exclamation. And they remind me of my travels through the Andes. But she says they look too crunchy granola to her. We're planning on moving in together, so I don't want to go through this every winter. Can you tell me, are these clothes really out of style or what? This is an excellent question because it's actually a fairly common situation that I deal with, which is reintegrating the mountain man back into the city. Um, so. Uh, one of the key elements of good style is being context appropriate. So uh, Boston is, uh, you know, highly educated, fairly cosmopolitan city. It's definitely not a village on the hillside full of huts. So <laughs> we just have different style expectations here. Um, and so it's not that he's necessarily doing anything wrong, it's simply that his clothing is not matching the zip code that he's in. Um, so I have a perfect example of how to stay even warmer than you would in just one bulky layer because uh, let's face it winter is war in New England and one of the keys of staying warm is to layer thin layers so rather than just walking around like you know the Michelin man uh, this is a perfect example so uh, he in this very sleek outfit is wearing a short sleeve t-shirt long sleeve t-shirt button-up shirt a thin knit sweater and then over it, he's got the versatile wool jacket and then a scarf. But he's going to be warmer than somebody packed up in alpaca. And he's going to be able to regulate his body temperature much easier as he's going from outdoors to indoors. I like that look. It's really sophisticated in a very low-key, casual way. I like that. And it seems to me that would work. I could see him going a number of places wearing something like that. You know, any place around town. That's actually, you're making a great point. When the rest of the, uh, he doesn't have to give up everything that he loves. That's, you know, sort of whimsical and reminds them of his travels abroad. Um, when your overall look is sophisticated and understated, you can get away with having uh, an item of whimsy. So if he's dressed like this, he could absolutely incorporate a funny hat and he just looks adorable rather than like, who's that crazy guy wearing all weird alpaca sweaters? And that's so. Back Bay. That's a street in the Back Bay, is, is it not? It is. Okay, and it works. He, he looks terrific. Absolutely. Okay, I like that. So hopefully this helps you. And um, if Emmy or I run into you around the street someday, we don't want to see every single item. Pull out your hat once in a while, maybe your mittens, maybe that he could do the scarf. Exactly. You know, okay. You really don't want more than two items of sort of whimsy or extreme design in your overall look. All right, that's a, that's a really good fashion point for all of us.